Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a quick sneak peek at some behind the scenes footage given to us by the developers of CBU Emulator itself. This footage is of Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, a game which previously did not boot, did not render anything but a black screen and is now currently in a working state as you can clearly see. The bootability and playability of this title is apparently due to the texture cache rewrite which we are going to be getting in CMU 1.13.0 itself. This texture cache rewrite is going to lay the groundwork for the implementation of the Vulkan API in CMU emulator itself. Now while we're not going to be getting Vulkan API in the next release of CMU emulator, this texture cache rewrite does go a long way towards having it implemented. As well as this game footage, we have also been given a sneak peek of some of the work in progress footage from 1.13.0. For example, we were given this very early look at the texture cache rework in which Breath of the Wild appears to be graphically completely broken. However, in the past few days we have also been given these images which show that the game is now in a much better state using this new texture cache version. Splatoon has also been shown off in several screenshots and while it does look correctly rendered to me, apparently there are still some slight render issues especially with in-game brightness and darkness. Another piece of information we have been given by the CMU development team is about a bug that is present in Mario Kart 8 on CMU emulator. For a lot of Mario Kart 8 players on CMU 1.12.1 and 1.12.2, especially users with older or lower powered GPUs, they have noticed that there are extreme FPS drops down to 10 and 20 FPS especially on tracks like Toad's Turnbike and Super Bell Highway. Exap, the lead developer, has already made a statement that he is aware of this issue and hopefully these FPS drops can be fixed in the next CMU release. If you are affected by any of these issues, you can simply play Mario Kart 8 on CMU 1.12.0 for the best possible performance. Staying on the topic of game fixes for 1.13.0, Fatal Frame 5 or Project Zero Maiden of the Blackwater is now apparently fixed in this new CMU release. This game has been unplayable for the past few months on this emulator and it is great to see some outlying games and non-mainstream titles getting some well needed support. As well as all of this information, we have also been told that Discord Rich Presence is going to be featured in CMU 1.13.0. This implementation will allow you to display exactly what games and titles you are playing on CMU emulator when you are using Discord. Do not worry however, if you are a person who values their privacy, you can simply disable this feature in your Discord settings. In relation to a release date for CMU 1.13.0, we have still not been given any concrete information from its developers. However, if we look at community speculation and the previous release windows of previous CMU versions, we can guess that this next release will take place sometime between the last week of July and the first or second week of August. So that's about it for this quick sneak peek at CMU 1.13.0 and some of its included features. Hopefully, with the booting of Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge, we will also have improved compatibility in many other games on this Wii U emulator. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.